While process or technology gaps can certainly limit the success of your business planning efforts, you can't get anywhere without people demonstrating the right behaviors. Today, in part three of this three-part series, I'll share two more fundamental planning behaviors right here on Crystal Clear Management. Welcome to the channel. I'm Crystal Lee, a principal consultant with Oliver White, coaching business leaders to achieve business excellence. I've created this channel to share with you what I'm seeing right now, the good and the bad, to help you win big and avoid disastrous mistakes. In part one of this series, I shared that best-in-class business planning comes down to people doing the right things in the right way. A good process and good technology just aren't enough when it comes to planning your business. If you want impressive performance results from your business, you need capable people that understand how to develop and execute plans to deliver reliable results. That's why so much of the coaching that I do focuses on people and behaviors. Last week in part two of this series, I shared two fundamental behaviors that are non-negotiable when it comes to better business planning. And today I'd like to talk about two more. For SNOP and integrated business planning to work effectively, you have to say what you mean and mean what you say. This means that you can't overpromise to make situations look better than they are, and you can't underpromise and then overdeliver to look like a rock star. You have to set plans that represent what you really think will happen. Think about it. If the sales team is sandbagging and ends up selling way more than they planned, supply chain comes up short and you have service issues. Or if supply chain is hedging and ends up building way more than they need, then you have inventory issues. You must deliver to what you committed or communicate. When you start to see things that will materialize differently than what you planned, you have to raise the issue so that the planning process has the best chance possible to respond. So to reduce surprises and get more control over your business, say what you mean and mean what you say. Was that helpful? Give me a like, hit subscribe, and click the bell so that you get notified every week as I share proven tips to transform your business, achieve mind-blowing financial results, and dramatically improve the lives of your employees. If you'd like to chat about how I can help you personally achieve business excellence, my contact information is in the description below. This type of transformational leadership is not for the faint of heart, but if you have the guts, I can get you there. See you soon.